La moda è Italia. Italia io credo che è il paese dell'ombre classico. Jack is probably 50 years old. Qual è la miglior marca italiana? Today we are in Milano, trying to look for the real Italian style. We are going to see if we can find it. Many people say that in this city, they say that it's the best city in the world, especially for fashion, especially for the real street style. But we are going to see if it's that true or if it's maybe not different from London, for example. We are going to compare the Italian and the British style and with other European countries. So what are you wearing today? For example, my shoes, which mm -hmm. are Italian, just bought them, are a strange color. Uh, Jack and Brioni. Polo? Polo Boggi. Pantalone non mi ricordo. Metti Boggi. Pini Parma e Isai Loran Vecchio. Cosa indosso oggi? Oggi indosso Erno. Erno. Luminar Erno. Erno. I inherited this jacket from my dad, so oh, okay. this jacket oh. is probably 50 years old, I believe. Wow. But it has a nice color. It has yeah. a nice color. It's similar to Piombo. I'm very happy with the capelli. Borsalino. Porta i capelli Borsalino. How would you describe your style? Do you think it's Italia? Solo Italia. Italia. <laughs> Italia. <laughs> Traditional, but with a hint of difference. Casual, elegant. I think it's a little bit Italian. Because it's, it's a mix Italian. between British and Italian. British and Italian. 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 Well, I think today is more Italian. Yeah. Maybe. It's yeah. more casual. But it's today is very casual because yeah. I came in the train from there. Italia, I believe. Che è il paese dell'ombre classico. <laughs> Napoli, Vicenza, Brescia, Milano. A shirt made by my tailor, a jacket I think I bought in Milan. Do you know what is uh, the material? I have no idea. Okay. Absolutely <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Qual è la miglior marca italiana? English Panama. Okay. And this uh, from Venice was the cabinet from Venice. Yes. Oh, questo qua è una polo di RRD. I'm wearing a, a suit from uh, Santoria Rossi. Santoria Rossi. Zegna. Zegna. Shirt by uh, Charvet in Paris. And your shirt? Where is it? The shirt is basic. I bought it at a sale, so it's oh, yeah. uh, Italian too. Patek Philippe. Pantaloni. Pantaloni sono eh, LBM. And your shoes? shoes uh, I don't remember. Ah, this came from Venice. No. Yes. From Santoni. Cintura Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Scarpe. Scarpe tops. Do you think the Italian style is better than British style for example? Uh, it's, it's different. For example, yeah. before you're talking about Spain, if you see a Spaniard walking down the street, you can recognize him, how he's dressed and the way he's hair is cut or whatever. I'm not sure why they're also Italian ours, but if you go to New York during the winter and you see someone walking around with a loaded coat, it's for sure Milanese. Mio stile è semplice, minimal. Minimal. È italiano? Italiano, sì. Okay. Crees che il stile italiano è migliore che l'inglese o sempre, 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 sempre. Allora, I don't have a grey suit, for example, uh -huh. because I, I'm not a banker or an attorney, so I don't need to wear something grey. So I like to mix. You see, jacket is different from the trousers. I've never had a brown jacket with brown trousers because they're never matching. E por qué? Qual è la differenza importante del stile italiano? La tradizione, la storicità. That's one of the things that I mentioned. Like, I think Italians are like more brave to use color. Like, ah, okay. So I'm a brave maybe. person. I yeah. like this idea. <laughs> <laughs> I told my wife. When I came here in Italy, I sold clothes for the classic clothes. So that was my first job in Italy. I did it for 10 years, and then I me dejé, me quedé así con esa impronta de, de, de hombre clásico, me gusta siempre. La moda es Italia, no es alto. <laughs> Do you have any tips for anyone that is starting this journey of dressing well? I think for man, really well cut, few classic clothes. Okay. Like a blazer. Un blazer azul, ya sea doble pecho o mono pecho, pero eh, creo que sea la, la primera prenda que uno tiene que, que tener en el armario. I need to tell you one thing that you haven't seen because it's behind the cameras, because there are a lot of well-dressed men, they don't want to be on camera. And I think this it usually happens in the kind of in Italian countries where they are like, they want to show up. You know, like, they want to dress well, but they don't want to appear on cameras. And I think this is something cultural. I mean, I understand that not everybody is keen to show or appear in a camera showing their style. But this is something that I have seen quite different from the UK, for example, in London. 
when I was recording this kind of similar videos in Mayfair or in Savile Row as I did that I'm going to leave them here in case you want to watch them after this video but one thing that I want to mention about the Italian style we have seen is the use of color on how proud they are about their style that maybe they are not dressing really really well but they are really proud of their style really proud of Italian things that are made here they are really proud of their own brands and this is something that is quite important especially for your own country your own industry that you support your industry you support your brands but for the other part I would say also that not everybody is dressing like that we went to the best streets in, in the city especially the streets with you know luxury stores like Gucci Prada all these stores are well full of this kind of people dressing well but if you go out of that neighborhood so out of that streets you what you're going to see are like normal people wearing jeans shorts and you know short sleeve t-shirts and that's it so not everybody is dressing so well here in Milan and that's it let me know what you think was your opinion or your experience about Milano this is by the way an amazing ice cream made of strawberry and vodka that I recommend you I think it's one of the best that I ever tried and that's it thank you for watching and I'll see you next time